The name's Lisa Torpedo. Well, wasn't always my name. I recently had to change it because of some hilarious circumstances. I'd love to tell you about it, but I won't. You see, I'm currently living life off the grid, and it's crazy lonely. So I'm looking for some nice hot chickadee who I can bang often, and who gets me for me. Do you know what I'm saying? I can tell you do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a creep or a weirdo for being on this online dating thing. I happen to be popular, a real social butterfly. I mean, chicks used to call me the wildebeest for crying out loud. And I think to myself, hell yeah, I'm a wild beast. That's right. Well, then I interneted that word and uh, it's one of the smelly animals. I was very displeased to learn that. I mean, if I got to choose my own nickname, it would be Sexy Rhino or Tiger Breath. You know, something strong and masculine. Something something my wife would be like, yeah, I'm going to call you that in the bedroom. <laughs> no, my wife is like, that don't make any sense. Well, screw you, Harriet. Because my second wife called me Sexy Rhino in the bedroom and it rocked. Yeah, it rocked my sex right off. <laughs> yeah. So I've been married twice. First wife, oh, she was an angel, until she wasn't. Wife number two, she was even better. You know, she was actually based on a dare. My buddy, he says to me, he says, I bet you can't get that chickadee's number over there. And I'm like, okay. I not only got her number, I married her. That same night, we were hitched for a glorious six hours. And then the dare ran its course, so we divorced. And, uh, you know, she was a real sport about everything. She was like, oh, yeah, that's a funny joke. Ha, ha. I mean, <laughs> if I ever saw her on the street, I'd totally be like, hey, you. I never caught her name. Hmm. Well, I'd totally be like, hey, how are you doing? Seen any good movies lately? You know, because I'm loyal like that. All right, let's cut the BS. I'm the greatest guy in the world. And I would show you the greatest time of your life ever. That's a laser torpedo guaranteed. We would even play the best game. The best game. Guess where laser torpedo is today. Since I'm always off the grid, you never know where I might be. And if you get it right, I would totally be impressed and tell you good job. I would even bake you a cute little cupcake and put nice sprinkles on it. I'd send that right to you in the mail. You'd open your package and be like, hmm, cupcake, because I did a good job. So, hit me up here on this uh, ICU dating website if, uh, if you want to have some fun. I'll see you around.